Well, I don't know about you, but I am super eager to get my hands on a EMTB with a 112 newton meter Zax motor. And I have one right here. Now, Stork is traditionally a high-end road brand from Frankfurt in northern Germany. But the owner, Marcus Stork, decided he wanted to have an e-mountain bike. So a few years ago, they had a collaboration with the Williams team, uh, the one where Rubens Bar Barrichello drives for, and they started making e-mountain bikes. Fast forward a few more years, and we have this, the e -Drelin SRS. It's 160 mil travel, it's got 29 inch wheels, and it's pretty lightweight, around 22, 23 kilos. But get this, the price of one of these bikes start at around 6,000 euros for that full carbon frame. Now, I think it's a pretty stealth looking bike. We've got the uh, Sigma controller and display on there and a 725 watt hour battery. Uh, the spec on this particular bike has got uh, SRAM GX Eagle, we've got E13 wheels, we've got Continental, uh, DT Swiss fork on there. I really like the detail on this bike, the uh, battery input, charging ports on the top here, linkages nicely out of the way, and check out this one piece rear swinging arm. You might have seen the Simplon Rapcon that we had on the channel earlier this year. Uh, is it one of the world's most expensive e-mountain bikes? Well, there it is, taking pride of place there. But there are alternatives. This is the new Steamer P-Max, short travel, 160 mil, air suspension, uh, front and rear. And also this, which is more of a gravity-based bike, 165, 170. Uh, this is an alloy bike compared to the carbon fiber bike, which is the uh, Rapcon. And uh, I think it's a pretty smart looking bike. I think you'd have to agree. Um, 1100 watt hour battery, uh, 1100 watt hour, sorry, of battery capacity, 625 in the down tube. And of course that bolt on kit, which you can have there. Oh, but there's another one, sorry. And that is the 150 mil travel, 29 inch wheel stomp, which you can configure any which way you want. Now, another highlight of the show is from Swiss brand Fit. Now they make displays, a range of displays, and also uh, controllers. Now this one here, which is the Fit Remote LCD, I've not ever seen anything like it. Really low profile, and the functions here on here are absolutely amazing. Fit guys from Switzerland. Now I'm sure we're all taken with the Flyer Uprock series which features either a Bosch or Panasonic motor. Now I'm now joined by Manuel Bracha. Now I can say Bracha because I'm from Wales. Uh, Manuel, uh, Fit, we've got a display, we've got a controller and we've got the Fit battery system on this bike. But that's not all is it? No that's not all. Um, a, a very important part is also the maintenance system. So no matter which motor you are using, you can always use the same maintenance uh, tool. So the, the dealer can just plug in uh, to the system here, right on the charging port, connect to the, um, to the computer and use our cloud-based maintenance tool in order to do the diagnostic of the system or uh, yeah, the up, uh, downloading uh, firmware updates, for example. Now, I've been looking at the display there, very, very neat display, and also a pretty low profile controller, but you do two versions of the display, don't you? Exactly. There is a 2 and a 3.5 inch display, all color displays, and uh, yeah, you can easily also upgrade your small, uh, small display to the bigger one, um, and it's easily done just by exchanging it that way, and it works. So I guess that depends on the type of riding you do. If you're doing mellower riding, you might want to go for the sort of big display. Or if you're really out of the way in the wild, and maybe uh, the dinkier display on there. Um, tell us a bit about, about FIT. Where, where are you guys from? We are from Switzerland. We are a spin-off of Flyer. So we started actually roughly in 2015 developing the FIT system. So we were at that point just starting integrating the Panasonic system, the Panasonic motor. We were doing 
our own batteries, displays and remote controls. We started also to integrate uh, like uh, electronic gearing uh, systems. And yeah, nowadays uh, we are also integrating tire pressure measurement uh, sensors or we are doing electronic locks integrated to our system. We have uh, digital keys which can be used over the smartphones and we even could equip this bike uh, just by using a adapter for the smartphone with the smartphones and acting as a display. Wow, Manuel, that is a lot of stuff. Now remember, this comes from a brand who are actually one of the pioneers of e-mountain bike, one of the first brands to make a full suspension bike back over a decade ago. Thanks, Manuel. You're welcome. Thank you as well. Now, folks, it's not only blokes that ride e-man bikes. This is the brand uh, Conway from Wyden in Bavaria. And I think you've got to say, these are very nice looking bikes. Now, these are the EWME 8.9 MX. Very nice colour. Comes with a 720 watt hour battery and a Shimano EP8 motor. Now, I don't know if you can see uh, just behind me here, there's the Conway Zyron 727. I've always liked the look of that bike. I've never actually seen it in the flesh, but I can tell you it's equally as good. Now, that bike has actually got uh, what is now ultimately the older Bosch system on it, but we've got a bike here which, is, which has got the new smart system with the controller, the display, uh, and of course, the larger capacity battery. Now, Conway actually offer pretty good value for money. This is a 29 inch bike, 150 mil travel, or 160, sorry, 150 mil travel. Uh, this bike comes in at 4,799 euros, so a pretty good package. <laughs> Isn't it funny how some brands are a little bit more subtle than others when it comes to the description of their bikes on their stands? But one thing's for sure, in the last two years, we have seen battery capacities go from around 500 on average up to six, and now it seems seven, 750 is the place to be. If you've not got that kind of battery capacity, it seems that you're nowhere. Not that I necessarily agree with that, because I still think there's a place for having a smaller 500 watt capacity batteries and you do some rides in the morning, come back for lunch and stick another 500 on in the afternoon. But for sure, we have seen a massive shift in battery capacities on e-bikes. Oh, Kettler, by the way, from Germany, 150 mil travel bike. Now, one thing on my bucket list of e-mountain bike rides is to ride a super short travel cross-country style uh, EMTB. Now this is the Superlight Trek E Caliber, 120mm uh, travel up front and 60 on the back. Uh, it's got a full lockout system on there so it can be a complete rigid bike uh, and I can only assume that with its lightweight and its 29 inch wheels it really is a flying machine. Now obviously it still has a motor and a battery, it has the Fazua system on there and the great thing about coming to a show or a festival such as this is you can actually take these bikes for a test ride so get yourself over to the IAA show.